What's up guys? This is me Shanti and you're watching me on my YouTube channel D Leia V. Today I'm going to be sharing my review on the Innisfree Super Volcanic Paul clay mask and I got mine from the gem outlet that they have and it comes in a, in a cardboard packaging like this and this is how the cardboard looks like and inside you have this plastic tub and it contains about 100 milliliters of its Paul clay mask and I have been using it about the same time as I got my body shop the other mask clay mask that I have been raving about and I've been intermittently been using and I would definitely say that this is also a great product. I see the most results around my nose where it helps to tighten. I would not say that it very much enhances the skin tone. It removes dead skin cells effectively and it also contains a lot of volcanic clusters when it is dried out. You're supposed to be using circular motions when you're removing the product and I definitely do feel that the clusters are really small and fine and they don't scratch the skin surface and I shall talk you through a lot more about the product so stay tuned if you're newly watching me and this video for the first time and you like what you see please do not forget to click the subscribe button down this video and you'll see a bell icon next to it just here make sure that you click on it so that you stay updated and notified whenever i have new video upload going up on my channel and i also have a blog if you're interested you can also sign up for my monthly newsletter with your first name and email address and you will be receiving a lot of goodies that are sent to your inbox. If I have not mentioned already, I got mine from the Gem Outlet and for 100ml of its product, I remember it was priced at $21. Let's look at the claim on this product, shall we? On the back of the packaging, it's said to tighten pores, removes sebum, exfoliates dead skin cells, offers deep cleansing, enhances skin tone, and provides cooling effects. And this clay mask is with its super volcanic cluster capsules powerfully absorbs sebum to intensively resolve pore concerns. I would definitely see how it actually works well for people of skin types, different skin types actually. If you have trouble with pores, then you would definitely be able to give this product a try. But beware if you have a drier skin type or even way much more drier skin type, you may not like it because its main focus of the clay mask is to remove excess sebum. People of dry skin have trouble with retaining moisture level so you should be staying away but if you're of an oily skin type and oilier skin type I have really oily skin type especially in the summer the hotter months in Singapore skin does produce a lot more oil than it usually does I have been using this mask and I would not say that it kind of provides cooling effect it's nothing too specifically noticeable in particular very much because the clay mask when you open it up it comes in a screw lid and it, there is a plastic cover that protects the mask and this is how the mask actually looks like. It looks very much dry. It's not like the typical clay mask like the Body Shop one which is way much more moisture condensed than this one. This is very dry and in fact sometimes it gets too dry to the point where I feel like I need to wet my fingertips. But you can actually manipulate the product around and get it to be well spread across your face. I like it and I usually would leave it around for about 15 minutes or so before I cleanse it up. The only trouble with such poor clay masks is that they kind of stain the sink so please make sure that you scrub your sink afterwards otherwise I feel like it kind of discolors the sink especially if you have very colored bright colored or even dark colored sinks this may leave a very unsightly stain behind scent wise I feel like it has a very thick clay mask scent in fact it has like a very volcanic ashy sort of scent to it and I can definitely look past that because I do like how it actually leaves my skin feeling. I do agree that it helps to tighten pores and remove excess sebum. I notice if I were to use it every once, every three to four days once, I feel like I see the most amount of uh, reduction and enhancement on the appearance and minimizing the appearance of fine lines and pores that are around this area. I would say you would definitely see a lot more better result and consistent result if you are using this product every 3 to 4 days apart. Other than that, the only disadvantage is that when you're rinsing it off on a sink, it's definitely going to leave behind an unsightly stain. That would be the only disadvantage to it and I have really have been enjoying using the mask. I can definitely see how this product is 
a favorite among oily skin types. I will try to insert clips of flyaways where you can actually see the mask, how it actually goes on the skin and before and after how my skin looks like just so that you have a clearer picture and that's it for this week's video guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already please do so by clicking the subscribe button and click on the bell icon next to it just so that you stay updated and notified whenever i have new video uploads going up on my channel and i will see you in my next week's video bye guys